down, turn around, don't you touch my booty. It's hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no, no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Nocto F6. What do I know about it? Absolutely nothing. But by the time I'm finished with this, I'll be able to tell you all the fits, finishes, dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots, the tires, the gears, the speed. Let's go on and get it. So we will not be getting an accessory pouch. Basically, I got pedals and sorts, bags, axle, nice little cutout for the charger, user manual. How interesting to not actually put that all inside of a box. Warranty card. Okay, uh, this is that next level styrofoam shit. So, um, I got this. Nice. Why do they send me bikes like this? Look how fucking dirty this is. I do want to talk about this real quick. As you can see that there is some dust on this. I don't know why they let their bikes get dusty. This is the problem when you have matte black. No scratches on it, but it's dusty as shit. That's in my ex-wife's vagina. Let me dust that off. Because that's a normal thing to do for something brand new. So before I would get vapes, right? They'd be all scratched up. To shit. Now I'm getting bikes dusty. Cleans up nice. All right. nice blade. Hayes out the front, yo. Abalone in the center. Sweet. So, you get three stock risers on here. Actually, four. Well, I wouldn't take that fourth one off. We're going to leave them all on there. And you'll notice this is a little loose. We're going to have to tighten that up. Inside of the package, pedals. Pretty nice pedals, too. These are those thin aerodynamic jams. I really like these. I feel like these are cheaper, but I like how thin the pedals are. The last video I did had these. A little tool pouch of sorts. There's a bus fuse in there. We get a 40 amp fuse in there. I have no idea what that is for. Maybe the controller? Allen keys with ball joints. So one thing you rarely ever see is a smaller Allen key with a, with a ball joint. And we're gonna need these guys right here for your display. User manual. Oh, that's a branded charger. Okay, is it weird that this is the best looking charger I've gotten out of all the bikes I've done reviews on? Even the back of that is nice. 3 amp charging on a 16 amp hour battery, roughly 5 hours from dead to finish to fully charge. You guys ever play Operation? I failed getting the wishbone out. And to put these fenders in, I always do this kind of little shimmy trick. Get your headlight out of the way. But I like to do this coming at an angle. And then you always put this in the front, not the back. You know, fun story for you. I feel like I've got more out of this. This is the most tool I've ever used in my life. Right? <laughs> I love this freaking thing. <laughs> One thing I want to talk about is you'll see here on your fenders that we actually have Phillips heads. This is nice. The reason why I like this is I can't tell you how many of these, when I get an Allen keys or Allen screws, I tap the heads off. <laughs> yeah. And to take the battery out. There's 
zero specs anywhere on the battery. I feel like somebody's wife's name is Tracy. Because why else would you put her name on a pedal? <laughs> Tracy Zoom. That's it. That's a wrap, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. Won't you come back no mo no mo no mo no mo hit the road jack don't you come back no more what you say hit the road jack and don't you come back no mo no mo no mo no mo hit the road jack don't, don't you come, come back, back no, no more what we're going to do right now is hit the road jack don't you come back no, no more, more, no more, no more, no more. No more. No more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. You do have to use your key to turn that on. Hold down the power button. Over here on the side of the button, you have your screen brightness for nighttime riding. On the top, it's going to be your trip, max, average, odometer. Pedal assist one, two, three, four, five. You have your horn button over here. Oh, that's a that's a nice horn. Headlight. Throttle. No, no, that's tight. That's not getting any tighter. Rim's bent. So out of the box, the rim is a little wobbly. That is not the tire. If you take a look at the rim, you'll see you can actually kind of see where it's bent at. Oh, well. Not a lot. I, what, what am I going to do? It's not like we can fix it. Yeah, it's not like I could just rip that apart and true the wheel. All right, here we go. Trying to figure out this problem with this front wheel right now. Let's see. All right. So we're going to see pedal assist one. So your throttles are based off of what pedal assist you're on. You can see one, max speed is eight. But pedal assist two, probably ten. Three, four. That's where you really start to pick up a little bit. And then five. Now, this says it does 28 miles per hour. So we'll skip real quick. So wheel brakes, good. So we got to tighten those up a little bit. Front, a little bit of a vibration there. So 20 miles per hour, not a problem. But it does say it goes to 28. That rear rim is a little bit bent. The front rim is good. There we go. Just got to tighten up those brakes a little bit. I really would like to see it go up to 28. No cruise control. That is not scratched up. It's actually the display. It's a little plastic. Rear brakes are a little bit squishy. So you are pedaling pretty fast. In your highest gear at six.
I'm trying to figure out that noise we're getting from the front. Brakes look good. Rim is pretty straight. Not loose. We tap on the brakes a little bit. Now back wheels a little wobbly. F6. <sighs> a lot of comments on this. Out of the box, we had a, a wobbly rear hub. Normally, this would be something that I would fix on my own. Remember the problem I had with the, with the one front tire? No problem. I mean, I did have to dismantle the whole caliper, rebuild the actual pistons. I've had it where uh, the crank was loose. There's been a lot of different issues, but true in a wheel is I can do it, but I don't feel that out of the box I should. Okay, it's quite literally that simple because you're gonna be getting this the same way that I'm getting it. And the fact that that rear wheel is as wobbly, rear wheel wobbly is, it's fun to say, rear wheel wobbly, rear wheel wobbly, rear wheel wobbly. Oh, I bet you you can't do it three times fast. Try it, Brie, go, one, two, three. Rear wheel wobbly. Faster. Rear wheel wobbly, rear wheel wobbly, rear wheel wobbly. See, all right. It is wobbly and Here's the thing, I don't know what you would do in this situation of you getting that. It's not a matter that um, it needs to be balanced. That's not a thing on bicycles. It, it, it could be that the, the gearing is off, but it does go the speed that it's listed at, at 20 miles per hour. I just could not get it at 28. I don't know the setting, and I don't know why a lot of different manufacturers don't put that in there. You want to do this at 28, here's, here's a way to do it. Just like that one website where it said disconnect the whole connection, boom, 28 miles per hour. I could not figure it out inside of the P settings. So I did get 20 miles per hour. The display is nice. Your front suspension, nice, good throw, micro adjustments, no problem. Keep in mind that this is a hardtail and there is no cargo rack. You have these plastic fenders. The rear brake on this is extremely squishy. Now this is mechanical brakes. It does stop and you could see that the wear on the rear disc is actually gripping well. On the front, however, when I took it out of the box, it was loose, so I had to tighten that up. Once I tightened that up, the pads weren't lined up, so I had to line them up. And then I had a weird sound. You remember that when I was first taking it for a ride? Okay, right, here we go. And then on a second time, I adjusted it again, got rid of the sound, but then I have the situation where I can't go over 20 and it does make some weird, interesting sound effects and I feel that's due to the rear wheel being so wobbly. It's, it's all coming from the rear. I, 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 I wanna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think there needs to be better QC. 
The bike being matte black is a very attractive look. And the gray battery looks nice, not UL listed, that's a shame. And there are no specs on the battery as well. So all I'm going off of the 16 amp hour battery is based off the website. The website also says it does 28 miles per hour. I got nothing. I could not get it to 28 miles per hour. We do have six speeds, and I was able to put it in pedal assist five and get 20 miles per hour while pedaling. Usually the case is you can't really go over 15, even though it's seven speed, just because their lowest gearing is not the best. But with this, I didn't have a problem hitting it 20 miles per hour. One, two, three, and four, you saw when I was riding it, wasn't really a torque sensor, but it wasn't really picking up until we got into five. Another thing worth talking about is how you have to turn the key in order to turn this on. That means that you're always going to be having a key on the side of your bike. And you might think that that's great for anti-theft, but keep in mind that this is a bicycle. There's no such thing as anti-theft. Unless you're going to get some brake locks or some tire locks, putting a key in the side doesn't stop somebody from pedaling this away. I have no problem at all with the fit and finish. I don't see any dings, dents, burrs, burrs, cowboy boots anywhere on this. I like the branding on the top where it says Nocto with a little bit of a decal, it's not super overpowering. On the side, eh, I don't know what that is. I feel like that's captain rank down here. I like the feel of the grips and I like the location of the thumb throttle. It's something different that I have not seen before because usually they're like big and square and they're generic. This is like round and very inconspicuous. You don't even know what's there. The display, huge fan of this because I've seen this already on that XT600. I think the bike is about a thousand dollars more than this. I, I just like that. Up, down, turn around, don't you touch my bunghole. Up, down, turn around, don't you touch. Oh, Lordy, pick a bell of cotton. Don't you touch my Oh, Lordy. I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs> Up, down, turn around, don't you touch my booty. QR code on this just leads to the website. So that's about as good as the manual you're gonna get because the manual that comes with this doesn't really apply to this. I don't know if that's a mess up or if that's just the way it comes is this is just a general rule of thumb. One of the super positive things was putting the fenders on actually use machine bolts that have Phillips heads. Can't say I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. I'm gonna throw the ball, pass it on over to Nocto. This is what I think. What they do with this video at this point that's on them. They did send me this bike to do the review. And just like that, I'm a reviewer. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to promote it. That doesn't mean that I'm going to lie to you and tell you that something is fantastic even when it's not. The condition of this bike is really good. Some things needed minor adjustments and I expected that. But what I did not expect it was that rear wheel. I know I keep talking about that, but that makes the bike essentially unusable. Can you ride it that way? Yes, but I would highly highly advise against it. It is not good. And I don't know what it is. I've undone it. I've tried to reset it. And no matter what, I cannot get that to unwobble. You saw that. I'll do it again for you outside so you can understand what I'm talking about. So you'll see how wobbly this is. Got the brakes to work good. There's going to be a link in the description down below that's gonna take you to a website that's gonna show you all the bikes that I've done reviews on, what I would recommend, where to buy them, where to get the best prices at. This falls in the bracket of not shit. I don't want you to take away from this that this is a problematic bike. And I'm sure that that wheel is just a one-off, but either way, it is something that I have to mention. And especially if I did not mention it, you know, you guys, when you watch these videos, take a look at what these people are doing while they're just riding these bikes. Take a look. Because I'd be willing to bet that there's a lot of things that they're not mentioning that are super important that you should probably know. I do apologize for not having any drone shots on this. For those of you that do like those, if I don't feel that safe on a bike due to the way that I got it, I'm not going to fly a drone and then max it out at its top speeds, which I couldn't even get. So those are things that I would recommend to Nocto is make sure that your rear wheels are not wobbly and that you mention how to actually unlock that 28 miles per hour or don't mention that it does 28 miles per hour because people are expecting it to be that way out of the box, which is exactly what I didn't get.